And here in Dubai, of course, the property sector is always a hot topic of discussion. Its plight also highlighted just a few weeks back by the founder and developer of Demark, self-made billionaire Hussein Sajwani, warning that the city faced disaster if it didn't slow its building boom. I had the chance to sit down with him yesterday and I asked about those comments and what he thought needed to be done to solve the glut in Dubai. I just said, if we stop today, we are okay. Uh, the demand is there. I mean, I think there is a demand for at least 15 to 25,000 units a year. Uh, but if we oversupply more than that, then we have a problem. I think we have oversupplied in 019. So, you know, we need to slow down, make it either zero or half of a very small number. And as I said, 12 months, 24 months is a maximum. And we could be surprised to see if we stop demand, maybe for seven, eight months, prices will stabilize, market have more confidence, and move forward. So the sense that I get is that you really have blown the whistle on this, because it seems like this has been an issue that's been unfolding, at least in the Dubai market, for a number of years now, but few people have the confidence to come out and speak about it publicly. So what do you think actually led to this oversupply issue? What is the root cause of this? As you appreciate, in the property market, it's the supply-demand and it's the cyclicality of the market. And it is the, you know, you can call it the greediness of the developers, is the business people. Uh, they see the market is good, they want to supply more, they want to make more money. And you reach a time in the curve where you need to slow down. Now, typically in the normal uh, competitive markets uh, like US, UK, somewhere else, the demand supply and the older companies are private, it will balance each other. U is a bit different because there are some majority of the supply or demand or, or, or you know, the development comes from a large government or public companies and that has to be monitored by the government more carefully, I think. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.